Hello, everyone. It's been an exciting September for Nikon. Oh, yes! They have released the Nikon ZF and now the Nikon Plena, a signature 135mm S-line lens. Also, there are rumors that Canon is about to open an RF mount to third parties after they said they wouldn't. Find out this and more in this photo news brief. Hi, my name is Vaughn. Nikon is on the month of September. With the release of the Nikon ZF, this camera has shown the camera world that Nikon can introduce a new camera with the features from the Z9, the Z8, the Z6 II, and the Z7. It's using all the best features. So let's go over some quick features in case you haven't watched any videos. The new Nikon ZF is using an x 7 processor from the Z9 and the Z8. The camera boasts an improved autofocus system over the Nikon Z6 II. Plus throw in the retro styling and Nikon can give Fujifilm a run for the money. But there's issue at the moment. What? The Nikon ZF is already experiencing shortages. If this is your first pre-order purchase, then this is the new normal. I dislike that our anticipation is followed by patience. The ZF is expected to start shipping October the 31st. I would add another month if you can wait for any production issues to get remedied. By December, after the reviews from consumers are posted, you will know what this camera can actually do because sometimes the pre-production models don't showcase the full features of the camera. I hope this helps anyone with pre-order blues. Please leave those comments with how to avoid the pre-order blues. I have them with the Nikon Z8. Next, Nikon has just released a mysterious Plena. Millimeters and a large f1.8 wide open aperture. The Plena renders point light sources with soft, near round bokeh circles with an out of this world effect. The Nikkor Z 135mm f1.8 S Plena is a prime lens that excels at edge to edge clarity. It boasts it will create circular bokeh balls that every portrait and landscape photographer wants in their photos and video. I get it now. Plena means plenty of bokeh. Duh. I'll do a quick overview of this lens. I will also give you the specs. First, this lens has a design that offers peripheral illumination. Say that three times. This design offers more lights to the edges and corners of the frame across the entire aperture range. Notice how wide this Z-mount lens is. It has a curved rear element. With this design, vignetting is minimized. This means no stopping down to prevent vignetting. You can always fix vignetting in post, but Nikon is taking care of that for you. Another thing that I like about prime lenses are their speed. This lens uses a multifocus system that uses dual stepping motors. With the dual stepping motors, the lens can operate in near silence. Now you're probably wondering, is this lens heavy? Yes, it is. It weighs 995 grams or two pounds and three ounces. If you have a Nikon Z8 with this lens, you'll probably want to use a monopod or a tripod. That's just a suggestion on my part. One more thing before I give you the specs. How is the planner with video? With bokeh being the main selling point of this lens, you can make your video more cinematic. Of course, Nikon has given this lens linear focus. That means there is minimal focus breathing. When switching between the foreground and the background, there is a smoothest transition in scenes. You'll like that very much. Now it's not a cinema lens per se, but it's manageable. When this lens is available from NPS, I will be able to give you a more unbiased opinion on this wonderful 135mm S lens. Now the specs. Finally, mirrorless rumors had a leak that Canon will open an RF mount to third party vendors. Previously, 
Canon only allowed manual focus lenses from third party manufacturers. Why this change? Canon needs to compete with Sony. They just don't have as many lenses as Sony. Having more lens choices over native lenses gives consumers more budget price lenses. If this happens, then the major lens manufacturers such as Sigma, Tamron, and even Samyang uh, will produce RF lenses with fully electronic compatibility, or in other words, autofocus. Leave those comments if you prefer to go with third-party lenses over native lenses. That is all for this photo news brief. Please watch my other videos and thank you for watching.